Hi guys, my name's Father Ash, coming to you from St Michael's uh, and All Angels Mount Dinham near Iron Bridge in the city centre. Uh, with me is our vicar, Prebendary Nigel Guthrie, vicar of St David's, and I have the honour to be his deacon. Nigel's going to read some scripture for us from Revelation 2. Coming up, Nigel. Reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 2. I know your works, your love, faith, service and patient endurance. I know that your last works are greater than the first. But I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet and is teaching and beguiling my servants to practice fornication and to eat food sacrificed to idols. I gave her time to repent, but she refuses to repent of her fornication. Beware, I am throwing her on a bed, and those who commit adultery with her, I am throwing into great distress, unless they repent of her doings. And I will strike her children dead, and all the churches will know that I am the one who searches minds and hearts, and I will give to each of you as your works deserve. Here ends the reading. Wow, thanks. Father Nigel, let's pray. It said, I know your works, your love, your faith, service and patient endurance. So Father God, help us to work, to love, to keep the faith with patient endurance in our acts of service. And we do give thanks, Lord, for the ways in which your people do faithfully serve uh, our city. We pray that our latter works might be even greater and therefore exceed our earlier works, that this new year and uh, going on ahead as we grow in unity will be a year of greater and greater works as a united church, worship, witness, service uh, to this, our city. But Lord, we want to be uh, faithful people to you. We want, Lord, to be your people. So we pray search our hearts and our minds, uh, convict us of those wrong things we've done and bring us to repentance. So forgive us, Lord, for the wrong that we have done in the year that is past and help us to spend the rest of this year and the rest of our days uh, living and working to your honour and glory. We pray then that we would be found pure in our love for you and for one another. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>